Harry, thank you. Shortly after President Obama's address last night, CBS News and Knowledge Networks conducted a poll. Among the findings, three quarters of those who watch say they believe the president's plans will make the economy better, 74 percent. Three out of four say they believe Mr. Obama's plans will help the nation's housing crisis, 76 percent. And while about one third before the speech believed that the president's plans would help them personally, after the speech, 51 percent, more than half, said they would be helped. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has details of the president's address. Good morning, Bill. Morning to you, Maggie. The president was speaking to Congress, but also over their heads to a nation deeply concerned by the troubled economy and hard times. He promised an ambitious agenda. He called for shared sacrifice, and he said there would be better times ahead. We will rebuild, we will recover, and the United States of America will emerge stronger than before. The president called his $729 billion recovery plan and his mortgage refinancing program the first steps toward helping strapped consumers. He acknowledged that the bank bailouts will likely cost even more. But while the cost of action will be great, I can assure you that the cost of inaction will be far greater. For it could result in an economy that sputters along for not months or years, but perhaps a decade. Mr. Obama acknowledged the deep public anger with bank excesses and mismanagement. So I know how unpopular it is to be seen as helping banks right now, especially when everyone is suffering in part from their bad decisions. I promise you, I get it. If the banks are made strong enough to begin lending again, said the president, then people, not bankers, will benefit. Slowly but surely, confidence will return and our economy will recover. The president also called for new financial market regulations. It is time to put in place tough, new common sense rules of the road so that our financial market rewards drive and innovation and punishes shortcuts and abuse. Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal, a possible challenger to the president in 2012, called Mr. Obama's recovery plan irresponsible. Another trillion dollar spending bill that Congress hasn't even read and the American people haven't even seen. The president said too that his budget, which is coming tomorrow, would outline new expenditures for renewable energy and for other primary purposes that he has, such as education and health care. He's also expected to announce today his third choice for Commerce Secretary. Washington sources tell us it will be former Washington State Governor Gary Locke. Maggie? Let's see if the third time's the charm. Bill Plant. Thank you, Bill.